from the garden we go into the house and we go through the double glazed porch which then leads into the main hallway so you have two doors coming into the house and then a very very spacious hallway which leads off to the utility room which we'll go to in a moment but we'll start with the smallest of the rooms which as you can see is very spacious and has a window which has a, a view out onto the back garden with a pond and a very nice enclosed lawn at the back. Bedroom two, slightly larger. And once again, views to the back garden. Right, further down the hallway we have the largest of the bedrooms. So this is bedroom three, which has views to the front garden and driveway. And as you can see, it's quite a large bedroom, which is approximately four meters by nine and has patio doors which lead on to the back garden decking and the walled garden at the back and there's the pond in the corner. So from here we'll look at the bathroom. The bathroom is subtly finished and includes a large towel rail which goes all the way to the floor and storage for toiletries and a bath behind and more storage around the toilet and a window which leads to the back garden and in the corner I have a pedestal and a shower. From the hallway, we have a small water closet and the room leading to that is a utility room. So there's plumbing for a washing machine and obviously storage, worktop and more storage for wine and leading from that with a fire door is the large double garage with electric door and the heating system which is oil fired and from where you saw the clematis in the garden with the trellis that's where the oil is located and there's more storage here and the garage door which incidentally is remote controlled out onto the driveway. Now as you can see you can comfortably fit four but more realistically three cars in the driveway comfortably and it's nicely finished with a, a shingle finish and from here we'll go to the second level which has the kitchen and a further bedroom and the lounge.